Hi there. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you've already been exposed and presented with the concept of the Epro 360 community, and you want to learn more about what it is, what will the benefits be for you in particular. And I hope to explain this community board to you in this video. Now, the first thing you want to remember is the concept of a community. What is a community? What does it stand for? Traditionally speaking, a community is a group of people that have similar interests, hobbies, thrives, or motivations. And that's precisely what we've tried to bring together with our community. EPRO 360's community is a closed circuit community. What that means is you're going to be surrounded by like-minded people. Only students that are EPRO 360 students will have access to this private community. That means there's no secrets on this platform. You have all the information available to reach out to one another in order to build connections with people that are going through or have already gone through the same process as you. We view this as a, as a very important, a key marker of what the community represents because it means that you're never going to be alone. You're always going to be surrounded by like-minded people or people that have experienced the same thing you're about to go through. The second thing to keep in mind is we want to give you a platform, you want to give you a place, a space that you can interact actively through different tools with each other. And that's why we've created a very easy dashboard to just navigate and reach out to other students uh, through a multitude of filters that you can use on your own. Filters such as majors of interest, location preferences, uh, or even the university of choice if you already have a university in mind. So that reaching out to students or networking opportunities becomes a breeze, becomes very, very easy to do. The third thing to keep in mind is that we don't want to focus just on studying. We don't want to focus just on your path to the university. What happens afterwards? What are you going to do with your career? And that's why we have two things available to you. Number one is a job board where we will post U.S. or European-based companies that are looking to hire international profiles such as your own. Whether it's in your area of work or not, we hope to give students everything they need to find the right company to fit their interests. That way, reaching out for a potential new job is going to be very, very easy and readily accessible on a multitude of, of ways and facets. But the second thing is also equally important, and that is training or understanding about specific areas, specific topics. And that is going to be through our different sessions of webinars, workshops, or online events that we want to organize for you, the student, to learn and personally grow uh, in determined areas or determined uh, topics. Last but not least, we also want to strengthen the sense of community with different events that we might hold online to just share common knowledge around any specific uh, festivity or get-together, but also do that with a physical uh, presence, right, and have community dinners, for example, where we locate students that are in the same area and we might, as a team, fly out to that city, to that location, to organize, hold, and have a community dinner to facilitate in-person in -person, get-togethers. We also intend to replicate this in the US, which is sometimes trickier to do because we're not physically uh, in the same state or the same region, but locate students that are and help them organize some sort of in-person get-together. The end of this community is very, very simple. It is to help you, give you resources and tools to personally grow uh, throughout your journey, starting from the very beginning, networking with students from your home country, all the way to finding a job once you finish your studies. All in between, you have different tools, resources, and events that will hopefully help you not only interact with other students, as I mentioned earlier, but also just grow in your understanding of U.S. culture, U.S. work environment, or potentially uh, job hirings. That is the goal ultimately with not only future students that are to come, but also past students that we try to give them everything they will need for their future and their career prospects.
If you like any of this information, if you feel that you want to be a member of a growing community of like-minded people with the goal of growing personally and professionally in the U.S., then you definitely have to reach out to EPRO 364 free consultation or just to better understand what we are and what we do. Thank you for watching this video and I hope I've been able to explain and transmit the key concept of the EPRO 360 community. Thank you.